Good day, our dear learners! Welcome once again to the 6th episode of our virtual storytelling in celebration of this year's National Reading Month. Join me as we journey together to another story through the Salida TV of La Filipina National High School. May I ask, if you were to choose a color that represents your personality, what color would you choose? Our world has become more meaningful because of the different colors around. Even the color of our skin is beautiful, whether dark, fair, or light. But sometimes, people also become proud of their color. This is the reason why some discriminate others. But if you look at the rainbow, although it has many colors, they unite to form a beautiful masterpiece. But don't you know that these colors were once disunited? We'll know their story in the Parable of the Rainbow Colors, written by Juan M. Flavier. The parable will also help you explore your existing powerful characteristics while allowing others to be part of your success. Now, let us try to find out in the story. The Parable of the Rainbow Colors It all started as just casual talks by each of the callers. They really have no intention to underestimate the others. But as time went on, the callers' praise of themselves became stronger and arrogant. They now began putting down the other callers. Their claim became very obvious and loud as to who was the best caller. It reached the point when the callers were actually quarreling. The caller red asserted to be the most striking and the color of blood, representing love and bravery. On the other hand, the color yellow bragged about the color of the sun itself and emphasized features representing gaiety and warmth. Orange argued with the claim of the color yellow as sunrise is radically orange in color. Also, this color represents health and strength. The color green declared to represent life and the color of fields and greenery. The color blue could not help it anymore, so it insisted the qualities of representing the broad sky and sea. Moreover, it stands for the depth of feelings and extensive spaces making it to represent patriotism. Then the color indigo came out and declared to represent silence, thoughtfulness, and prayers. The color violet shouted as it insisted to have royalty, power, wisdom, and authority. Along with this rapid and heated exchange of words, the rain appeared and interrupted the contentious arguments. It turned out to clear up the issues of each caller as to who is the best among them. The rain told them of having unique features, special roles, and more importantly, the sense of needing each one to give the mixed colors of beauty. Out of their confusions, the rain stressed that each one is important and not to be seen separately. After an outpour of rain, a strip of colors will appear in the sky. It is now called a rainbow that represents cooperation and hope. With that, the rain disappears. Ha! 
how do you find the story? See, we do not need to be similar to be beautiful. Each one, whatever our race, play an important role in the world. That is why nobody is superior and nobody is supposed to be inferior. To check your understanding, let us answer these questions. Whoever can give the correct answer the fastest by commenting your answer will receive a load. You will be given 5 seconds and when you hear this sound, then time is up. We will announce the winners on the comment section at the end of this broadcast. So pay attention to the questions. Number 1. What was the root of the argument of the callers? A. The callers became proud of themselves as they see themselves as superior over the others. B. The callers were appreciative of the other callers and their contribution to the world. C. The callers wanted to look nice all the time. D. The callers see each other as family. Your time starts now. Time is up. And the answer is A. The callers became proud of themselves and they see themselves as superior over the others. Number 2. Why do you think RAIN emphasized the need of cooperation? A. In order to give the mixed colors of more beauty. B. In order to give the mixed colors of more radiance. C. In order to lengthen their time to appear in the sky. D. In order to make them realize of their need for each other. Your time starts now. Time is up. And the answer is D. In order to make them realize of their need for each other. Number 3. Why does a rainbow represent hope? A. Rainbow represents hope because each color in the rainbow represents a specific solution. B. Rainbow represents hope because after the storms in life, there will always be colors. C. Rainbow represents hope because the beauty in itself is enough to brighten our day. D. Rainbow represents hope because we can choose to look at it whenever it rains. Your time starts now. Time is up and the answer is B. Rainbow represents hope because after storms in life, there will always be colors. Number 4. The following are ways of encouraging others to cooperate in societal activities except one. Which one? A. Recognize the contribution of each one no matter how small. B. See the potential of everyone whether one is wealthy or not. C. Include only those who have the talents and the monetary capacity. D. Accept all contribution whether they are monetary, in-kind, or manual service. Your time starts now. Time is up. And the answer is C. Include only those who have the talents and the monetary capacity. Number 5. What lesson can we learn from the story? A. Honesty is always the best policy. B. To serve selflessly is what our country needs. C. A lending hand in time of need is considered a precious gem. D. We are supposed to complete each other 
not to compete each other. Your time starts now. Time is up. And the answer is letter D. We should seek to complete rather than compete. Congratulations for performing well today. We hope that every time we see rainbow after the rain, we remember the need of everyone to cooperate instead of pulling each other down. I will leave you with a quote from Henry Ford. Coming together is a beginning, staying together is progress, and working together is success. This has been Teacher Jomali, your virtual storyteller. See you tomorrow for another story only here at Sanida TV. Cut. Sa lida, la Filipina, ang iyong pangarap ay tiksa Sa lida, 